program tonight. Pawan Verma, uh, author and former diplomat. Uh, PKD Nambiar, uh, supporter of the BJP political analyst. Zainab Sikandar also joining us. Uh, she's also a columnist and writer. We'll also be joined uh, by the Congress's spokesperson and another guest very shortly. But Zainab Sikandar, would you say that that is fair? Not at all. In fact, uh, it's very unfair even comparing India, a large economy of 140 crore people with a very, very strong democracy, which have got a very strong co uh, cooperative federalism and a $3 billion, dollar, uh, trillion dollar economy you are comparing with an $8 billion dollar, uh, uh, economy. Secondly, as uh, Pavanji said, that it is a, uh, uh, India has got a India is a very diverse economy, whereas Sri Lanka was predominantly was only and only dependent upon one uh, particular economy that was tourism. So I think comparing an or oranges and apple is something like a very childish argument, which is not expected out of a, a senior leader like. Uh, if forget about the Congress, at least he has been an MP for several years. I think it is not expected out of him. Secondly, if he wished that India should also go to that line of uh, 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 Sri Lanka, then only God can help uh, him and as well as uh, the Congress. Now coming to the some of the fundamental aspect of it. India's foreign uh, uh, currency reserve as, as on today, maybe it may be here and there, more than $600 billion. Our agricultural stockpile can serve all of us even for uh, even in the worst time of the covid we have seen that not even a single case we have heard from anywhere that the people were under poverty they were not being served the food at their own home without even uh, free rations were delivered we are talking about uh, even though we are 80 percentage of our fuel is supposed to be imported but we are uh, have you seen a single place where in a petrol pump where you went and you would not been able to get a petrol or a diesel or for that matter a cng or anything else so where so is this apples and oranges. comparison secondly okay. and not only that fdi for an example this is one of the very fancy word for all the congress spokesperson generally fdi 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 is are taking away the money the stock exchanges are coming down the all the money is been put it into the us economy and so on and so forth imagine 2.5 percentage and india's fdi is the only fdi in the world which has got such a global footprint. Tell me one economy in the world, whether it is China, whether it is US or in Canada or a UK, any of the economy of which we compare of the top five. Sri Lanka is okay. our neighbor. Look, I get your point that I think I think Pavan Varma was saying the same. That Absolutely. I think, I, I think Mr. Mr. Pavan Varma made a reference to Mr. Nambiar. Do you want to ad address that point? Uh, the danger of that hubris of, of, you know, thinking that because you have the brute majority, that no nothing can go wrong, that the people are you know always with you. I, I uh, Nidhi, I always feel that the, I often hear this uh, statement that brute majority, majority of nihilism. Where is this? Is Narendra Mar Modi or Amit Shah or a JP Nadda or a BJP went and bought this majorityism in their favor? It is the people of India who have elected them one after another, election after elector, election. If the people then criticize that and make that as a statement of majoritarianism, I can only only say that they don't believe in democracy. If the people who believe in democracy should not not be even uttering that word now coming back to the real topic where is the question of comparison coming Sri Lanka is our neighbor Sri Lanka is our neighbor who has been given almost two billion dollars worth of assistance by one country that is India the uh, China was trying to make Sri Lanka as a colony by putting up this FDI this uh, quote unquote and where is that money gone Nobody knows. So what is, is that what we wanted to learn from uh, uh, Sri Lanka that they have used that money for a one particular family or for that they have wasted that money somewhere or they have built uh, infrastructures which were not really needed for the people. Is that what Rahul Gandhi wants us to go and learn? Is that what we wanted to know and, uh, learn from that, that there is no fuel in that particular country and the neighbor or the food is not there, the wheat and the rice is being given or the medicines have been going from India. Why don't you, why don't Rahul Gandhi and the Rahul Gandhi gang understands and appreciate that there is a country which is helping the neighbor in, the, in okay. their hour of the need. And okay, let's let talk me, about now the facts. Mr. Varma no, wants I, I, to I come in. You, but one more thing, yeah. uh, uh, very Rahul quickly. Come in. Uh, 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 come there in. is a uh, unemployment data, data everybody is being talking about. Let's talk on the, flat, uh, the, the real fact. When was the last pandemic happened in this country? Is it uh, just 45 years back or anything more than 100 years back? We are talking about an unemployment after a uh, COVID situation which has completely demolished the overall economy across the world. 
and now I will tell you the exact Mr. Nambiar, the, the, the economy data, was the facing headwinds even before the pandemic. The pandemic certainly complicated things and so inflation now has been in double, double so digits for 13 straight months. It can't even be attributed only to the Russia-Ukraine war. But one second, Mr. Varma wanted to come in. Yes, Pavan Varma. Uh, 